welcome to the birthday gift. This message is for Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. So we're going to do it. What do you need to know right now? Because I know many are making big decisions. We're going through many changes, shifts, and these are big, big changes, big shifts. Okay. So let's see what you need to know right now. Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. What does Gemini need to know? Okay, we got one card. The Magician. Oh, you can do it. You're ready. There's something you're ready for. And I see that you have all the tools that you need. So it's it's about like taking the initiative to do something. If you're doubting yourself, they're saying that you got what it takes. Action is required. Um, mental. I'm seeing like crown chakra. So there's something you can do. I don't know if you're overthinking something. Okay, Gemini, that's the feeling I'm getting. It's, it's like somebody who talks themselves out of something. Let me see if anything else comes out. Anything else? Okay, so we got... Wow, yeah, you're overthinking something. It keeps you stuck. Literally. So you don't see... It's like someone not limiting themselves. Someone not seeing that they can do something. Not or it could just be that you don't see that you have all the tools. Something's keeping someone stuck and it's in your head. I don't see that you're literally stuck. I see that you can talk yourself into thinking you are. Anything else? Wow, there's something you don't see. The sun. There's a good outcome with this. There's something you, if you implement it, I see you like being very lucky in it. Wow. Judgment. They're trying to get your attention. Wow. Okay, so it's time for renewal. Oh my God. There's some, okay, so if there is something you have put on the back burner, because I am seeing there's been some time lapse. It's like I saw time speed up. So there's been like some time. Some of you, they're telling you to go pick up something that you put down a long time ago. Like you stopped doing something because you didn't think you can do it. But you, they're trying to get you your attention to show you that this is where your abundance is. This is like where your blessings lie. You won't be. Sorry. So get out of your head. Okay. Get out of your head. What else does you and I need to know? Wow. Look at you. Yes, there's something that you put. It's like it's been some time. Temperance. And this is your card. And some of y'all, it could have been a person. You've been separated from them for a while. And you, like, some of you are, it is a person. It could be a Sagittarius. They're trying to get your attention. These cards want to be next to each other, but I needed one to put here. These cards, they're not going to separate. Wow, so Gemini and Sagittarius. That's the two polar opposites. That's your... um. Polar opposite. Some of you are dealing with a Sagittarius or you may have that on your chart. There's some unfinished business there. Okay. Anything else? Yeah. Eight of... So, someone's not wanting to work on it. It's in reverse. What's going on? Y'all message. So, okay. Mm. You, you didn't do the work. You didn't put in the work or you didn't try hard enough. In something, right? So let's just say it's not a relationship with someone. It is an experience that it was asking more of you. They wanted you to try more. It, yes, it will put you out of your comfort zone, zone. Like, but you, it's something you're not willing to try. I'm gonna refer some of you all to the Virgo message. It's like I don't want to do this. I'm not interested in doing this. It takes too much work. It's too hard. Wow. 
So you're not even open to it. That's the energy I'm getting. But what's so beautiful about this is like it is worth it. It is worth it. The sun tells me there's something in this, like a hidden gem for you. Tell me more. Yeah, give to, there's something that you need to give to. To bring in like, and it is something different from you. Something you you tell yourself, you're not going to compromise with it. You're not going to mix with it. You're not interested. So there's some balance needed here. Wow. There's, I don't know, for some of you, you may not be reciprocating. Something, it's like someone's trying, but you're not. I am getting that energy here. Okay. Judgment is right above the Six of Pentacles. So they're trying to give your attention on something that is requiring you to give to it. Or it could be something that's giving to you and you're not open to giving back to it. So it might be someone or a um, opportunity that you said no to. And your no was an emphatic no. It's like, no way. You were not even thinking about it. It has that energy about it. Like how... Did they even think that I would even consider that? I am getting that energy. Wow. It's going to require a fight. So, so it's not done. Either that energy that's trying to come into your space, is they're, they're going to fight their way through. So this is unfinished. Whatever this is. No. I feel like some of y'all, it could have been a project or something that you said you're going to do. For example, I'm going to buy my home, but you kept being denied for the loan, right? Or it could have been, I'm going to get my degree. And you, every time you try, your time doesn't allow it or it's too much money for tuition. It's like this thing you have to do it. It's, it's, that's the energy I'm getting. For some of y'all, it is a relationship. It's a person. It didn't work out. But you. It, it's like you didn't work at it hard enough. You didn't fight for it. There's a lesson in this. Something is incomplete. You're not. They're not letting you walk away from this. Judgment here, no. It's like there's something you don't see about it. Give me one more card. Oh, wow. The world at the bottom. Something is in, it's unfinished business. You didn't complete it. Tell me more. Okay, we got a card. I asked for one. You gave me one. Page of Cups. It's a person for some of y'all. Many of you. The message is strongly <laughs> of getting like a person. So, oh my God. They may be a friend. Some of you may have a friend that has a crush on you. And they tried and you couldn't even believe that they tried. Like there's there's some innocence to this. So I do feel like someone's intentions are pure. Let's, let's see more about this page of cups. Oh, someone wants more information. This is someone who's different from you. Three of pentacles. Someone, it's going to require some compromise on your side to integrate that energy with you. My goodness. Yes. Um, the Virgo message, I'm going to uh, recommend. I feel like you can do it. I feel like you can be successful in this. It's just you're going to have to listen to the messages, the guidance. It's this person's watching you. It could be a Virgo. Some of you could be dealing with a Virgo. It's one more card here. You don't want it. <laughs> like this way, I feel like you're not interested. You don't want it. You're not going to even consider it, right? In reverse, they're like, go back to that thing you said no to and try it out. Try it out. I feel like that's your message because they're telling me you'll be good at it. Like this is how you master yourself. You, you can master the skill of dealing with energies that you Convince yourself that it's not like you. You're not going to do it. You're not interested. Like, 
Y'all yeah, message got more. There's more to y'all message. Um, and I'm not doing any extended. Um, let me see if anything else comes out. Tell me more. Yes, it's a romantic escapade. Some of y'all, it's, it's, it's romance and it's scary. It's like, I don't know what I what to expect in this. Now, um, others of you, it's a gesture, a friendly gesture from someone. And you're not sure you want to take it on. It's, it'll take you into a, I'm going to say dark space, but when I say dark, it's just like, Something you know nothing about or you not know what to expect or it's just a place you've never been before, right? It's a new experience and there are no guarantees. So it's like, go at your own risk, but it'll be helpful for you and your growth. And for many of you, it's just a different kind of partner. It's just a different kind of partner. It may not be someone from your past. It may just be different from the people you're used to, right? Anything else? Knight of Wands. Yeah. You might be used to these type of partners. The ones that are, I don't know, in and out. And they're like, I'm, I'm getting like, it's not going to be your usual type. Okay. Yeah. Look at things differently. Look at the situation in a different view. Okay, we have the hangman. So they're just trying to get you to experience things differently. It's going to require you to... Um, it's like... Things you've gone through in the past, you're going to have to be able to not let that kind of deter or dictate how you make this decision. Like, some of you just, you've had so much bad experiences that this is too much for you to take. Five of Swords is right above it. So I know this is not easy. But they're saying, look at, maybe look at your past experiences differently. Some of you, there's things you, you're probably still healing from. Okay, so you might have some trust issues here. Or you there's something you're not. Mm -mm. You, you don't see something. There's something not being realized. I mean, eight of swords is here. Judgment and then the sun. So it's like something you don't see. You're overthinking. Trying to get your attention about that so that you can see it. Tell me more about these three cards, please. Yep, that's the truth. Some of you are not seeing the truth about yourself. Wow. It's right in the back. There's some type of, tell me more about the truth about themselves, please. You got to learn to, okay, so you're trying to create a heaven. You're trying to create a reality that you haven't really done the walk in life to create yet. So there's like, there's some illusions some of y'all are dealing with. I mean, the dream, the moon is here. So there's some, it's like you're not seeing something clearly. It's foggy it's cloudy you might think you're in the right the right about something and someone else is in the wrong but there's something you don't see wow yes hang man they're trying to get you to look at something differently wow or someone look at someone differently okay tell me more okay they told me more they gave me three more cards some of you all, it is someone you moved on from or there's something you need to move on from. You can't move on from something. A person. Some of y'all may be dealing with a fire sign, okay? Um, someone you love. Wow. Someone you love, someone you moved on from. Someone still loves you. I'm getting like, True emotions from one person to the other in this situation. You may have moved on. Okay, so for those of you who may have moved on already, you've already moved on from someone. You're not looking to go back. 
the message is about a new energy that will come in and it might have the same undertones of that person. And I'm going to refer you to the Virgo message. And that's your message. Others of you, you still haven't learned the lesson. So you're, you're, you're dealing with some blocks. You're dealing with stalled energy here. Hangman is your final card. So you're still in like a space that nothing's happening. It's like a temporary standstill until you can change your view on what has happened. That's your message. And the what this is it's going to take more effort on your side. Like you're going to have to be able to see it a little different, try to understand the other person's perspective. There's so much here. There's so much. Like there's opportunity here too. There's opportunity. But you got to be open to it. So I'm getting somebody who's like stuck in their ways and they're not open to considering or reconsidering something. Wow, interesting message here. A different view can get you out of like a tough period where you're feeling pinned down. Right now, if you're feeling like nothing's happening and there's no way out, there's something you're not willing to give to or there's something you have not considered a different way of looking at it. Something needs to be looked at in reverse. That's your message. Once you're able to do that, Everything happens. Like you're the magician. Everything you need, everything that you were trying to make happen, it just happens like magic. Because you have the tools. The, the way they're saying is literally you just need some type of flip of the script, how you understand something, and then everything moves. But until you can get out of some way of thinking, which is limiting you, eight of swords, until you can hear the call, you won't get that renewal, judgment. The sun comes after that. The sun, blessing, abundance, it comes. But you got to be willing to work on something. Okay? All right, I'm going to leave it there. And I hope that this was helpful. Gemini, thank you for watching. I'll see you all next time.